Hello and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined by James. How are you doing, Jono? Yeah, I'm excited for this game. Uh, and you should be, because um, we've now dropped into the loser bracket of the um, double elimination of the Oxford School Championship. Um, and of course, in the uh, loser bracket, is all to play for uh, if you lose, you're out. So, um, we have on the left Tim, who we saw uh, in a couple of games during the Swiss. Um, a, and on the right, making his debut on the Aaron Cast, is uh, Oxford's very own Seb. You cannot quite make it out, but he's wearing his tactical onesie for the Store Championship. Putting opponents on tilt since 1996. That's right. It's uh, yeah, he's quite doing things by against. Um, so the uh, the signs were mandated uh, because of how they've played in their previous rounds. So Tim was playing Max, and, and he was terrified, Johnny. He was terrified because that meant that he was playing against Seb's blue son. And if he could have done anything to avoid that, I'm sure he would have. Uh, I know this is a PG cast, Jono, but I'll describe this blue son death as BS. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, a very... Now, blue son mulliganed. So, what do you... Okay, blue son mulliganed. And for their first turn, it was an optional draw, a hedge fund, and then a credit. No ice. Do you run? Do you run? They must have agendas. But do you want them? Because <laughs> he hedge funds straight away. I don't know. There's only six agendas in this deck. What he also did, and I would love to know if this was mind games, he tried to play hedge fund and then restructure. Now, we obviously can't do that. So he took the restructure back. But he did tell Max that he had a restructure in hand. <laughs> so should he have taken an agenda, I don't restructure know. into a punitive or something? I, would, I wouldn't put anything past Seb at this point. <laughs> very, very, very strong player. Free so, face on the forums. That's right. Uh, that's right, yeah. Um, so Malefact on Octagon, I think this is other hand. Oh, is that right? I don't actually yeah. use Octagon. Right? So um, Seb still hasn't installed any ice. Strange to tough know what to make of that. Um, and Max has um, meanwhile been going about uh, Max's maxi business of trashing cards uh, and installing Grimoire on a prepaid. So we've seen before. Uh, this is actually quite an interesting uh, build uh, that Tim made, is it? Because it's a prepaid uh, based Max deck. It's quite interesting. Problem with that is when you trash the prepaids with the mash, the max mash. But he, he did well with it on the day. I mean, he's in the cut. I think he's trying to money up here as his only choice against this deck. Yeah, that's fair. So um, Seb has installed, click one installed, and then used Jackson. So Jeez. he presumably was entirely flooded with uh, with agendas. But we could see there for a second he has drawn ice. So he's kind of saved. Uh, Tim wasn't running Plascreet. I think he's running I've had worse, but... Uh, I also think he's running I've had worse. Uh, yeah, so it's... Uh... Actually, Tim had a lot of bad luck on this day with Max. I've seen a few of his videos. He had some real bad luck for the things Max was trashing. Uh, live uh, by the sword, die by the sword, though, Jono. Well, that is it, yeah. So... Um... Here we Using go. to access a research station in Jackson. So research station has uh, had a bit of a kind of re-blooming <laughs> in the Wayland. It's exploded Wayland onto the, the, the southwest uh, and southeast uh, of the UK scene. Yeah, because it lets you keep all your murder pieces in hand <laughs> quite comfortably with things like ice and economy. Yeah, it went... I guess the guys in London had, had seen it before, but first time we saw it was the store champs. Yeah, in Reading. Uh, uh, and it turned from yeah. a, a laughable card to a must trash overnight yes yeah, so we've uh, we've mentioned uh james b who uh, was top seed and runner up in that um reigning sword championship and his wayland which had a, a bit of an effect on a lot of uh, brendan as well a lot of uh, this is it's a similar deck that it's, Seth's running here yeah 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 james uh, deserves a lot of credit for developing this kind of deck mm, yeah it's also uh, the basis of the one that Ian Reid took to the store champions, the Stimhack store champions invitational on ah. Oxygen and just destroyed the Americans with left, right, and center. <laughs> I don't think they were ready for it. <laughs> so, um, uh, Maxim saw David, which is uh, good preparation for oversight hijinks. Yeah. And um, Seb. Um, it still was an ice on the Jackson, and then uh, it still was, uh, still was the uh, uh, research station. This is a point where you might see uh, an interior curtain wall oversight with a piece of ice on the outside. That's right. Yeah. That's Which right. I think is generally a pretty safe play anyway. Mm. So, um, 
Davies can also be used, obviously, for Tolbooth. So it's a fantastic way to Andrew. Tolbooth. Yeah. And Axe is a Shattered Remains. Good times. Just going to lose the prepaid and the Grimoire. Uh, but still's a oh, cleaner. No, sorry. And yeah. sees a Seasource. So, uh, as if he wasn't in what do you make of that? <laughs> he knew what was going on. Yeah, so what do you do now? Do you try and draw up and hope he doesn't have the double punitive? Well, um, you can't get over you can't get over six cards. You yeah, so you, those credits, right? You yeah, need to make sure yeah. that he can't beat beat you economically twice. But there's a toll booth on the table, so he can get up to thirteen without playing without spending a click. Um, so if you're max, true. you're in a really really bad situation. So he checks HQ, maybe just for, trying to force him to raise some stuff. On the plus side, if you uh, if you do survive this, then you're in a really strong position. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you steal the government takeover, it's game over. So it's Caduceus, which is not ideal, because that has not taken any money away from Brett, from, uh, from Seb. This, this deck's just all about money and murder. <laughs> and, um, and Tim declines to spend any money whatsoever on any of the traces. Uh, yeah, unsurprisingly, really. He's just, he, at this point, he's trying to make Seb um, spend money. But unsuccessfully. Mm. So uh, he's only got two clicks left, and he's in a very dangerous position. I wish they'd tidy up their enormous credit pool on the table. Yeah. Well, yeah. We saw some so blase positions. So, Dirty run R and D. Obviously, a David credit isn't going to help him survive a trace, so he can spend that. Uh, he has spent three credits though, uh, but he's going to access. You guess maybe he's just looking for more agendas. So he sees the sea source. And two useless cards, and his fourth. Where did all these medium cards? And then you saw from? another cleaners, but it was Ooh. not. And that's in many ways that's even worse because uh, now one. You don't, you don't even want that agenda, pretty much. Yeah, you'd like to decline it. So Seb pulls back Tollbooth. So I think we all know what's happening here, and our viewers are not mugs. This is a short video, so you yeah. have a very good idea <laughs> yeah. of what's happening. I think it's all over. <laughs> so click one as a sea source. <laughs> So uh, it's base strength three, obviously. So set pays four to take yeah. it beyond uh, Max's credit pool. So he's taking that tag. And he has the six credits for the double scorch. And he, yeah, he does. So there's one scorch. The real question here, has he had worse? And he has not. <laughs> so um, that was a six turn corp win. And this is uh, what this deck's all about. Yeah. And I mean, it's a strange thing to say, but... Uh, so Max, he stole a three-point agenda on turn five. That's great, but it, that's, is that worst case? I mean... Uh, I guess you... it wasn't here because he didn't get punitive. But, so you, that's right. That's true. It was the successful run that killed him. Yeah, um, he knew that. Um, I think he knew that. you got to move fast and you've got to the... hope they haven't got the pieces. Yeah, he knew he had the, the sea source. So um, blue, the fact that Blue's on Mulligan and it's all no ice, I mean, do you start aggressively running the hand? I mean, Jackson showed up after a few turns and flushed it all away. But you, ha you have to assume that they don't have the kill in hand at the start of the game. Otherwise, you'll just never be able to run unless you've got you'd an be incredible really, economy engine. That's it. You'd be really unlucky to for them to have, say, a government take up, takeover and punitive in hand after a mulligan. So you'd have to... Yeah, I, I feel like you'd just be aggressive. See what you see. I mean, if you see a punitive, maybe you stop running at that point. If you see a, a sea source, maybe you know, you're a bit wary, but... Um, it's a very hard deck to play against. Yeah. And it's it. so frustrating as the runner because there are only six agendas. And so, yeah, you need, and so you need a lot of accesses. And to get accesses, you need a lot of successful runs. And, and they kill you. Normally, what people would uh, suggest in that situation is that it's not a good scoring deck. So you just camp the remote. But the problem with that is it runs like two or three copies of Shattered Remains and a, maybe a Cerebral Overwriter. Yeah, that's right. And in Blue Sun, if the trap fails, you just bounce it back to hand and do it again. Yeah, that's fine. That's true. That's true. So, um, yeah, so that was the loser quarter, which means that, um, unfortunately, Tim goes home uh, with a fourth place spot. Is that how that works? Yeah. So he did make top four. Um, but that's Seb will progress to the loser semi, in which he will meet um, uh, Ollie, who <laughs> yeah. lost in the winner's semi. And the winner of that game will obviously go on to the final to face Neil. So... Um, yeah, it was a very, it's a very strange game. I mean, Matt, it's difficult to know what to do as Max. You want to try and get set up economically and go, but he didn't really get the luck 
um, from the free draws. Before um, the game, Tim said it was a horrible matchup for him and he didn't really know what to do. I, I, did, um, I remember his cry of... That's, uh, that's not something you hear from one of the UK's best players very often, right? I don't know how to do... I don't know how to deal with this deck. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was... Uh, yeah, he, he knew what to expect. Let's just put it that way. So, um, But he couldn't yeah. do anything about it. He could not. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, short but sweet game. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and we will see um, we'll see lovely viewers next time for um, Ollie versus Seth.